Hey guys, Dental here. I'm doing a little something different this time. I'm actually doing a tech review and the reason why I'm not in front of the camera is because this is a demonstration of the Intella Glass HD. It's actually a uh, screen protector on this phone right now. This is the Galaxy Note uh, 4. Um, I've actually talked about this um, phone before but anyways so the uh, people at Intella Armor uh, were nice enough to send me this uh, product of theirs uh, for free uh, to test it out and to give it a good review but anyway so uh, the reason why I'm doing this behind the camera is because this is all about this screen protector now there's a couple of things that you should know about this screen protector and the main feature is it's completely glass this is th that that's glass um, uh, most screen protectors that I've come across have been this like little film that kind of goes over the actual uh, cell phone and um, most of the time they're a little bit too tinted and they have a little bit um, too much I don't know they just kind of block the actual sight of the uh, the phone uh, this one actually does a great job of um, uh, that's a picture of me and my fiance in the background and then some uh, personal things at the top there <laughs> get out of here get, uh, get get out of here okay anyways uh, that's how many steps I've taken today anyway so um, but this one does a great job of not uh, giving you that hazy look uh, that some of the other screen protectors do now you might notice that there are a lot of little things on the inside that's because uh, when I attempted to put this on um, I actually got a lot of dirt uh, on the underside so that yes that does bother me but um, I'll be able to fix that I'll probably be ending up getting another screen protector just to fix that problem um, and this this little thing at the top here um, if you notice it's a little bit and it looks like it's not on well that's because I kind of rubbed it anyways that's all that is all <laughs> uh, um, that's all error <laughs> a human error and not done by the manufacturer but um, this actually was supposed to be a very easy installation and it kind of was the thing is is uh, what bugged me the most is because my house has a lot of hair so if you're gonna do this try to do this in a very clean environment and try to um, place it on as best you can but once you get it on it's pretty easy it kind of like just goes and there's really um, if you can see there's really uh, there's really no bubbles. I mean it does show that there's a lot of uh, dust in there, but That's because I put a lot of dust in there uh, But there is like no no bubbles other than that one right there. That's that's because I rubbed off the uh, the I rubbed off the uh, adhesive, but uh, when the, the way that we the adhesive works is it kind of like just kind of gradually goes on there, uh, unlike some of the other ones where you kind of have to rub out the bubbles. This one you don't have to rub out the bubbles so much because it's glass, um, and because it's glass, it's actually just as hard as the glass that is on your phone, which is another cool feature um, of this screen protector. Um, what other things? Um, it's slim fit. I, I, I would say it's a little bit thicker than most screen protectors and um, um, I'm not sure if you can see that on the side. I don't think I can get a good enough. Uh, it's see You can kind of see that it's a little bit thicker than most screen protectors and there's also this this little gap. I'm not sure if it's like that with their other phones but on the Galaxy Note 4, that, that is kind of a downfall of this screen protector. But other than that, this is actually a really cool screen protector. Okay, so uh, we're going to try it with a knife. Uh, knives are a little bit tougher than keys, but I already tried this with my keys. I'm going to try it with the back end of the, the knife because I know if I do it the sharp end, it might actually do something. So... All right, that's actually not. Uh, I don't. Oh, you see a little bit of smudge, <laughs> but uh, let's wipe it off. Hmm. It's a uh, tempered glass, so it's a uh, supposed to be really hard. All right, so um, for the most part, it didn't leave much, but it does leave a little bit of marking. That is just. That's not scientific, 
but uh, with my keys it didn't really do anything um, with that it left a little bit of scratching but again this is not your typical item that you'll see in your um, actual pocket uh, even though it is a pocket watch uh, pocket knife god damn it <laughs> anyways so um, a couple other things um, it says it's oil phobic coating at the beginning it totally was uh, but um, as you can see it still leaves a couple of marks um, very light marks but it's a couple of marks and um, damn it I can't believe that left a scratch Ugh. okay so it does scratch but uh, the very at the very least it's going to protect your phone your actual phone from getting scratched and that's the whole point of a um that's the whole point of a screen protector so um all in all this is a good pr pretty good screen protector um i'm going to give it a four out of five just because it's got it gives you great clarity and it uh gives you um, peace of mind for the most part. Um, it does scratch, as you could see, but it doesn't scratch. Um, it takes quite a bit to scratch it. And it's going to definitely protect your phone. Whew, it is hot in here, so sorry about the uh, <laughs> out of breath sound. But uh, thank you guys for uh, joining me for this uh, tech small tech review. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it. Um, if not, you can just comment down below and let me know uh, what I can do to improve these uh, types of reviews. So uh, thank you guys, and I will see you guys on the next one. So stay frosty. Hey guys, one thing I forgot to mention is to go ahead and check out IntelliGlass uh, <clears throat> at Intella Armor. Links are down in the below. Um, I'd like to give a big shout out to Intel Armor for uh, sending this to me. I'm very grateful. Um, I will be purchasing another one. And also, I would get it while it's still at its current price. Um, it's currently, I think, $14.99. Could be wrong about that, but it's around $12 to $14. Uh, go ahead and pick it up right now. Um, I highly recommend it. It's, uh, like I said, four out of five. Uh, definitely go get it. So. Oh, man, it is hotter than heck in here today, and that is why I didn't do it in front of the camera, because I am sweating up a storm. So, thank you guys, and I will see you guys on the next one. So, stay frosty, my friends. Stay frosty!